Yo, what's going on, sexy seven? Let's go today. We're here doing a ranked one v one. I'm playing some Asset for you guys because I know it's been a really long time since I played Asset. Why do I know this name? The keepers of the cosmos are here. Oh, I fought this guy a bunch in one of my videos, right? Like one of my Try Hard Thursdays or something. Is either one of my Try Hard Thursdays or one of my Tilt Tuesdays? But I fought him a bunch in like a single video. That's why I know his name. All right. Well, he's back and he's on Kronos and that's terrifying, but eh, maybe we'll be okay. I got a set with me. I got the wings. I got the, I got the special emote of the gods. I mean, like, like, look at that. Look at the emote. You know what I mean? Look at the emote. Gee, burrs, my guy. Holy moly. Let me just adjust myself a little bit. Let me pull the chain out. I got to riz up this, this set a little bit. Um, anyways, fighting a Kronos is going to be really hard. I did buy beads. Obviously, he's going to be able to stun me out of my one, which is my main damage source, which I don't want him to do. Not really like a big brain play, just kind of a mandatory play. Um, so let's charge up the AoE auto. That didn't even AoE. I guess I didn't even need to. Who clears faster, me or him? him i guess that does make sense i clear i should clear wave faster though don't stun me please nice we'll silence him just for the uh nice just for the shield so i couldn't finish my train i thought i was panicking a little bit um another silence for the shield I'm okay with this. I'm okay with him using his stun on me before I use my clear. That's actually like... That's best case scenario, to be honest with you. Perfect. I do have my ult. If he comes over here, I'll just ult it. He is coming over here. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. And he's not level five. So that is a free first blood after getting the red buff. Let's go. That's massive. He is going Bancroft. So I'm going to have to try my best to go Kronos pin in here um, and match his, match his power spike. But I am going to stay a little bit greedy. I don't know if he has enough for Bancroft right now is the only thing. He doesn't, which is perfect. Because like I said, in order for me to not get absolutely obliterated, I need to match his power spike pretty immediately. Um, and he already got, oh, he's going to get his power spike now. So, Chronos Pendant acquired. My power spike is good. I don't know why I pressed three for a second. I thought I was Medusa and I was going to dash. I, sometimes my brain works in mysterious ways, but that's okay. Um, I did miss one minion worth of XP, which is kind of dookie. But I made it back. I mean, I have, I have two buffs and xp camp and a first blood my xp is fine i have level seven here does he have level seven here i'd imagine so i'd imagine he's not that far behind in xp right oh he doesn't wow he's really far behind okay he's backing now but i don't know why he could possibly back yeah, it doesn't make sense that he would back right now, so. Only 150 damage. I need to pump those numbies up. He's playing this the correct way. He's being very, very, very defensive and realizing that genuinely the only way he can win this game is by playing power spike advantage and, uh, the reason I'm stopping his back so much, by the way, is because blue buff is spawning and I want to be able to get it. Oh, why did he... He stopped his back even more and now I get my blue buff for free. If he finished his back, he could have probably contended me on my blue buff here. Like if, if he, if he actually just backed and 
bought whatever item he wanted to buy in the first place and hit that hit that spike he probably could have just ran me down and tried to get my blue because i stole his but because he didn't i'm feeling very very good right now he just hit level eight i'm damn near level nine i mean i'm damn near level 10 hold up my damage feels very good at the moment hit that teasing Nice. I missed red buff because I was sneezing. Unlucky. Unlucky. The sneeze that cost XP. I hate that for me. Though I will say, uh, I think I just kill him here. Maybe not. Almost. unlucky 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 uh i have 2700 gold now obviously the smart play would just be go grab yourself a genji's uh however i'm thinking a little bit differently because he's chronos his late game is going to be better than mine and it's not going to be close unfortunately for me i'm thinking i go a stacking item here i'm thinking i i slap on a warlock staff it's going to help me a lot in the mid game so obviously i just said his late game is going to be better than mine i can there's two things i can do right there's make my early to mid game better we're kind of already past the early game we already have two items um so i i'd argue we're past the early game and i can't really uh receive help anymore for that um but what i can do is i can make my mid game slightly better which is my plan with the warlock staff or i can make my late game better in order to match chronos's late game now chronos has one of the best late games in the game obviously most people know that it's almost like a default smite knowledge that you see a chronos that their late game is going to be astronomically better than yours no matter what character you are pretty much unless you're like maybe a Kali and can match up to him um now i could go warlock staff plus book of thoth to try to match up with his damage late game um or i can just go warlock staff plus some big mid power item game or big mid power item items uh that are going to help me kind of snowball this into a victory into the late game even though he's going to be doing more damage i'll have more power spike heavy items so i'm going poly now um warlock staff once it's the reason warlock staff by the way is a mid game item for me personally is once it's evolved you gain 10 percent pen um one of the only items in the game that evolves into percent pen and uh it's very very good i don't buy it too much because i play duel and it's just not mandatory in duel a whole lot uh but i do think that it's underutilized in conquest at the moment but yeah i'm gonna go poly now i'm not gonna go book of thought like i said i could kind of try to combat his late game with a warlock staff book of thoth combo but i think i'm more or less just gonna go poly and go for bursting it's kind of my game plan so far i mean the warlock staff is working it's not doing amazing because i it's not evolved yet but i do have my poly now which is going to be awesome for me he went genji's he's going into more more life steal. okay so he's going Bancroft's, Genji's, Typhon's, Polly, probably. Um, which is going to be triple life steal. I need to go for my defensive item. It needs to be Pestilence. And I probably also need to go Divine. I don't think Pestilence by itself is going to be enough anti-heal. So I'm going to go ahead and just slap on a Pesty. Ouch. For my next item. Um, and Pesty is not really like... It's not really a mid-game, late-game item. It's just kind of a good defensive item. In my opinion, one of the tankiest defensive items in the game. I uh, used to be Bulwark of Hope, but it has since been removed, so. I missed. I'm poo poo. Big silence. Polly the Phoenix. I'm by the Phoenix, I mean the tower, obviously. Polly it again. This little 100 damage. Stop his back because I'm annoying. And then go grab the XP camp. He's going to go Typhons now. Uh, 
this is a little bit of an of an issue hello because there's there's again there's two options here neither is right or wrong but i could go divine and try to snowball more like just continue this this very heavy damage focus build please don't stun me nice I expected that exact thing to happen. He's probably going to try to fight me because his blue buff is up. His blue buff is not up. I have been lied to. Big beads, though. Oh, you can't even be mad at that. Ah, uh, good juke. Good juke. Stopping his back again because of his blue buff. I'm going to do it again because I don't care about him. Perfect. His greed keeps losing him these buffs, man. I'm not going to pick that one up because I can just go pick mine up. Uh, how much is Pesty? It's 2250, right? 2400. Jesus. Thankfully, I have two buffs to, to kill right here. So I'll actually be able to buy it regardless. And that's going to be huge for me. That is going to be a huge power spike for me. All right, so we got Pestilence. So we have upgraded our Warlock staff. So we're, we have a little bit of base pen. Or 10% pen. It's not base pen, but it's percent pen. That's decent. Um, he's Chronosing my tower, which sucks. Red buff is up. I would like him to not have it. But also not much I can do if he wants it, to be honest. He doesn't hit me hard at all right now. I'm okay with getting hit because your damage is almost... Your your damage is as close to irrelevant as it's ever been. I can actually detonate my stun on a set while immobile. Now I still have beads, so if I get caught, caught in a stun, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to tussle back and forth here. Cause I think I can win the fight based on utilizing my shields and my poly. Well, and obviously my, my son, um, his whole goal is to basically just make sure that I can't do shit, but he, oh, good ages, good ages, good ages, good ages, good ages. Let's go grab red. I won that fight really heavy though. Now, I waited long enough to grab red, not only because I was fighting, but because I wanted to make sure that I was able to pick it up. Um, I do want the cooldown that blue buff gives me, but I don't think it's going to be very easy to hold on to that. Now, he probably thinks I haven't even done red yet because I'm hanging around here at low HP. Oh, that was close. Ouch. All right. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's see if I can find the treasure chests. They're not here. It means they have to be at the Phoenix. And I kind of want to go a Staff of Mirrodin. I know. Okay. Okay. I don't know why it won't let me type. Okay, whatever. That's super annoying. I was typing in staff and it was backstepping me, opening my T menu, and it used my beads. That really fucking sucks, but I guess Smite is a game. Perfect. Perfect. Snatch that blue buff. All right, I can go finish my Staff of Mirrodin, which I definitely should do because it's it's almost late game. It's almost late game. I need to focus on getting this uh, this tower down, though, so that I can get it, the, the Phoenix with Bull Demon. My Polly is kind of dumping him. Yeah, there's the Polly item that I, I told you he was definitely going to go get. I didn't lie to you.
silence him for the shield. Make sure I'm dipping my toes in. I, I just want to make sure that I can get this tower with my poly autos. I missed everything because I'm bad in garbage. All right, he's dead. Perfect. I'm just trying to use my poly to my advantage here. I used all of my mana, but I think it's going to allow me to get this. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Huge play. Red buff is spawning. I'm not going to greet it. I'm not going to greet that. I should maybe greet it. Um, but I, I'm a little too scared. I'm a little too baby right now. Yeah, he sees red buff. I'm going to go divine. Obviously he's triple lifesteal. It'd be idiotic to not go divine. I went Sapphire in first because I only have 20% cooldown on my build and I need another 10% from Sapphire. And that's going to bring me to 30% plus 20% pen and uh 20% pen's fine. He only has one defensive item. It's not like I need that much more. Um, and now is the fun stuff because I am a set, which means I can do absolutely insane shit to this Titan. Uh, all right. I mean, that didn't hurt me that bad, I guess. I blocked most of it. Oh God, that poly chunk. Jeez. Uh, you're backing because you have to. Perfect. Perfect. So basically all I wanted to do was, I mean, exactly what you saw. I just wanted to get a fully charged alt off very early on after taking the Phoenix because his Phoenix isn't going to spawn soon. My alt comes back up relatively soon. Um, I have max cooldown. So I only have max cooldown because I bought the 500 pot, but I got divine um i'll upgrade my beads and i'll grab a blink here because blink is probably going to let me finish this game off by blink alting the titan now i do need to get there pretty quick because if i don't then uh his phoenix is going to spawn and i'm not going to say my last alt was for nothing but it definitely is going to feel like it didn't do as much as it actually did yeah his goal is to try to stop me but every ability he misses pushes me closer to him. There's his his uh, beads. So he's he's very scared right now. If you're him, you're terrified. And I, luckily enough, didn't even need. Yeah, he's just gonna surrender. He sees the alt go down. The phoenix isn't back up yet. And that's going to be the absolute victory for me. Let's go. Um, I did thought I, I thought that I was going to have to blink genuinely. I could have gone ages if I thought that I was going to fight for the Titan like I did. But I mean, I, that fight was was very nice. I hit everything. He missed everything. It just kind of worked in my favor. But yeah, GG. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, y'all. Peace.